celebrating Southern Oregon's beers, ciders, wines, and more. This is So What's on Tap. Today we're out in Medford's Industrial District at Gold Rush Cider to talk about their Imperial Cherry Lime Cider. Normal ciders for us are in the 5 to 7% range. This one's a little higher. Imperial Cider means that the ABV is above 8. So for this cider, it's coming in at 8.2% ABV, alcohol by volume. If you like a cider more on the dry side, this is for you. Oh, that's so good. Oh, it's so good. The flavor profile for our cherry lime cider is very cherry forward. It has uh, a little bit of tart from the limes, and it's really balanced, which is what I uh, like most about it. Apples, cherries, and limes all come together in a delightfully fruity and refreshing beverage, perfect for the summertime. We use uh, dark bean cherries to bring that full, rich fruit flavor of the cherry. We zested lots of limes, and so we pulled the oils, the essential oils from the rind, plus we juiced the limes themselves. So we have both the aroma and the flavor combined with the cherries to bring it full circle. But at its heart, it's still an apple cider. The ratio of apple to cherry lime for this cider is about 80% apple. Apple is our base. Um, we use a variety of bittersweet sharps and some crisp apples, which lends well to the, the full cherry flavor and the lime tart. Millions of tiny organisms process all that sugar down into alcohol, giving this imperial cider its hefty ABV. So we start the cider process by pressing or crushing like wine. We have to add certain chemicals to stabilize. We also need to make sure that there's not wild yeast that's going to start fermentation without us controlling it. We correct for bitterness and then we let nature do its course and it ferments and it's happy. It's a lot of work to create even the simplest of ciders. So normal cider takes uh, anywhere from four weeks to years. We like to let time do its work. And for example, our Imperial Cherry Lime Cider that we're talking about today, it took us about eight weeks to, to produce this. Combining such distinct flavors takes expertise, creativity, and a lot of patience. This idea for this cider was one of our employees. Every, every month we all get together and we brainstorm what ideas they would like to see and uh, she brought it forward. She's like, hey, I would love to see a cherry lime. I thought it was a fantastic idea. I've always wanted to make an imperial cider. So we were able to kind of meet in the middle and I made the imperial cherry lime. Gold Rush Cider's imperial cherry lime is a must try for any cider fan or anyone who likes to pull up a lawn chair, kick back and enjoy the summer sun. We'll see you next time on So What's On Tap.